flying a fighter jet at supersonic speeds is an experience that few people on Earth will ever have. It's a thrilling, demanding, and highly technical feat that requires years of training, an understanding of physics, and the ability to handle immense physical forces. Breaking the sound barrier, flying faster than 767 miles per hour at sea level, ushers a pilot into a realm where air behaves differently. Physiological stress intensifies, and the smallest mistake can have massive consequences. In this video, we shall explore what it feels like to fly a fighter jet beyond Mach 1, both from a physical and technical standpoint. Before a pilot ever experiences the exhilarating sensation of breaking the sound barrier, they undergo years of rigorous training. Military aviators begin with basic flight school, progressing through advanced jet training before qualifying on high-performance aircraft. Pilots train extensively on high-G maneuvers, emergency procedures, and instrument navigation. The ability to withstand high levels of gravitational force is crucial, as rapid acceleration and sharp turns at supersonic speeds exert extreme pressure on the body. Physical fitness, muscle conditioning, and specialized breathing techniques help pilots maintain consciousness and control under these conditions. Climbing into the cockpit of a modern fighter jet is like stepping into a futuristic control center. The instrument panel is loaded with advanced avionics, radar systems, and heads-up displays that provide real-time information. Pilots wear advanced flight suits equipped with G-suits to help combat the effects of high-speed flight and sudden maneuvers. Upon takeoff, the jet quickly climbs to altitude, typically above 30,000 feet, where the thin air is more conducive to supersonic flight. As the throttle is pushed forward, the afterburner engages, injecting additional fuel into the engine's exhaust to produce a powerful boost. The roar of the engine intensifies, and within seconds, the aircraft surges forward at an incredible rate. As the jet approaches Mach 1, the aircraft experiences increased aerodynamic resistance, known as wave drag. This effect makes acceleration more difficult, requiring significant thrust to overcome. Just before breaking the barrier, there may be a sensation of vibration or buffeting as shock waves form around the aircraft. Then suddenly, silence. The transition past the sound barrier is often marked by a noticeable shift. The shock waves move behind the aircraft, eliminating the sound of its own engine from the pilot's perception. For those on the ground, the passing of the aircraft results in a loud sonic boom, a dramatic explosion of sound caused by the buildup of pressure waves. Inside the cockpit, the pilot remains in full control, but must be acutely aware of how the aircraft handles differently at these speeds. Control surfaces respond differently, and minor adjustments have significant effects. Pilots rely on precise instrumentation to navigate, as external visual cues may be unreliable at such extreme velocities. Supersonic flight is not just a test of technology, but also a test of human endurance. Pilots regularly experience G-forces that push their bodies to the limit. In high-speed turns or sudden maneuvers, the force can reach 9 Gs, meaning a 200-pound pilot effectively weighs 1,800 pounds. Blood is forced away from the brain, causing a risk of G-force-induced loss of consciousness. To counteract this, pilots use the anti-G straining maneuver, a breathing and muscle tensing technique that helps keep blood circulating properly. G-suits also play a critical role by inflating around the legs and abdomen to reduce blood pooling. Flying at supersonic speeds offers an unparalleled view of the world. At high altitudes, the curvature of the Earth becomes apparent, and the sky transitions to a deeper shade of blue. 
Looking down, landscapes rush past in a blur, with cities, rivers, and mountains appearing and disappearing in moments. Supersonic flight also allows for intercept missions, where pilots may engage in mock dogfights or practice intercepting other aircraft. These training exercises hone skills in high-speed target acquisition and split-second decision-making. Despite the thrill, flying at supersonic speeds comes with significant risks. Any sudden control input can have dramatic consequences. At extreme speeds, even a small mistake can lead to loss of control or structural failure. One of the greatest dangers is compressibility, a phenomenon where air density changes drastically, affecting lift and control surfaces. Pilots must also be mindful of spatial disorientation, where high speeds and rapid maneuvers can confuse the body's natural sense of direction. Additionally, fuel consumption increases exponentially at supersonic speeds. Many fighter jets cannot sustain these speeds for long due to the massive amount of fuel required. Careful fuel management and mid-air refueling capabilities become essential for extended missions. Bringing a supersonic jet back to base is an art in itself. After high-speed operations, pilots must carefully slow down, descend, and prepare for landing. The approach speed is still significantly higher than commercial aircraft, requiring precision and skill. Pilots deploy air brakes, reduce engine power, and adjust flaps to decrease speed. The final moments before touchdown demand intense concentration, as even a slight miscalculation can result in a hard landing. Once on the ground, the pilot may feel an immense sense of relief and exhilaration, knowing they have just experienced one of the most extreme forms of flight possible.